Hello everyone, wearing my hoodie, so that means Star Trek Online knowledge. Me, next generation. So, today the death blog came out, according to my Facebook page, about the Andorian Kumari escorts. And as I suspected, it comes from the Sea Store, and it acts a lot like, uh, and it's purchased very similar to the Vesta and the Odyssey. This comes in three things, the tactical escort, the science escort, and the engineering escort. The base stats for all of these is the requires Vice Admiral, Faction Federation, duh, uh, hull strength 32,200, shield modifier 0 0.9, crew 85, that seems a little low, but you know, whatever, um, five front and two aft weapons, two device slots, base turn rate 16 degrees per second, which makes me think you're a top, <laughs> and impulse modifier 0 0.2, can equip cannons, I'd hope so. Uh, equip standard Andorian phasers. There's a addendum for that one in plus 15 weapon subsystems, which it's it's an escort. What do you expect? It's going to be plus 15. The first star, which is for the five front weapons, is only or one four weapon slot is occupied by the wing cannons. This weapon can be removed and replaced by a different weapon, but it cannot be equipped on ships other than the Andorian escort. Only one may be equipped per ship at a time. So you only get to choose which wing cannons you want, and they're all very special, and we'll talk about that one at the very end of the video. And the other thing for the Andorian phasers is upgraded to Mark 12 very rare Andorian phasers. Once you purchase the ship, you can get them from the Dilithium store. But really, who am I kidding? Base stats, that's a great ship. Sounds like most other escorts, except for the crew. That does seem a little low. However, we all care, like I said in the, pre in the Ambassador class video, we all care about the bridge slots and the consoles, because that's what defines a ship. So, on the tactical escort, it is a commander tactical, lieutenant commander tactical, lieutenant tactical, ensign engineering, and lieutenant universal. Probably going to want to throw a science in there just so you can have like a science team, so you can repair your shields. Console modifications, five tactical, three engineering, and two science. Now, I fly science ships, so I have no idea what you'd do with that many tactical consoles, but last I checked, they have diminishing returns, but, you know, I don't keep track about that much stuff. Like I say, science vessels, so... I have two console, two tactical console slots. And the universal console is the phaser dispersal array, to which is a console that allows your wing cannons to charge up and fire a powerful blast that will damage all targets and enemies around your target. So really good for like swarms of probes or whatnot. It's pretty much just like that weapon that you have on the ground that hangs down and you charge it up, boom, and everything falls over. I love seeing it in Big Dig. It's, I love you guys that wield that sort of weapon. The engineering Andorian Escort is the Karal class. And it is Commander Tactical, Lieutenant Commander Tactical, much like all the other ones, Lieutenant Engineering, Ensign Engineering, and Lieutenant Universal. Like it's my suggestion, again, probably for science, so you can help balance with the shields and help some hull repair, hazard emitters, yada yada. Uh, it has four tactical, four engineering, and two science. So, 10 console slots total, but it's an escort, so having a bunch of engineering seems to be kind of a beefier version of the patrol escort. And then its console is the wing cannon platforms, which allows you to deploy two wing cannon platforms, which will orbit your ship and fire on your wing cannon's targets. Wing cannon platforms will only fire while your wing cannons are firing. So, it's basically still another one-two punch, but it comes from two different sources. Or it comes from three different sources, so it's your ship and two little orbiting satellites. Looks like it's going to be really cool in all of its wondrous glory. And now for the Kaizen, which is the more science-oriented Andorian escort. It has, like the other two, Commander and Lieutenant Commander Tactical. It has an Ensign Engineering, a Lieutenant Science, and a Lieutenant Universal. Um... Since you already have a Lieutenant Universal, you could probably just tack on a the Lieutenant Tactical in there and have ev so many tactical slots, it's not even funny for bridge officers, but you probably, you know, I would probably throw maybe an Engineering in there because, well, that's just me. It comes with four tactical console slots, two Engineering, and four Science, and that's that's pretty disgusting, especially if that Lieutenant Universal is, a, is another Lieutenant Science and you just pack those guys with science abilities and you can just jam up all the shield buffs and a bunch of stuff. 
and its console is the Tachyon Induction Relay, which allows your wing cannons to fire powerful Tachyon Burst that damages all of your target shield facings. I don't actually have numbers, but it basically is like Tachyon Beam. So if you could have your Tachyon Beam going while you throw off the Tachyon Induction Relay, you might have, you know, <laughs> it's like what shields, I'm guessing. All of these console slots can be equipped on a singular ship, and they allow for a set bonus. That is, the two-piece grants synchronized targeting a passive bonus to accuracy, and the three-piece bonus is wing cannon synergy. This allows the player's deployed wing cannon platforms to benefit from the player's special cannon abilities, such as cannon rapid fire, cannon scatter volley, and the special attacks provided by the tachyon induction relay and the phaser dispersal array consoles. Also, this comes with the unique Andorian bridge that many of us have seen through the Star Trek Enterprise show with Shran. Thank you for watching, and I hope this gives you a lot more information. Down in the description, I'm going to link to this dev blog so you can look for all your stuff. Uh, down here at the bottom, it looks to be that the price is very similar to what the Odyssey and the Vesta originally had. For It's 2,500 Zen for a singular ship, 5,000 for all three, and that will be available on Feb uh, next Tuesday, it looks like. And one final note, like I said, this will come from the C store. It'll be 2,500 per ship and 5,000 for all three. This will be available on Thursday, February 21st. And as a last note, this does come with a unique bridge, the Andorian bridge that people, many of us have seen through the Star Trek Enterprise, when, uh, which Shran was on his ship helping the Enterprise in various, various episodes. So thanks all for watching and I hope this was very informative.